Have you ever wondered what it takes to carve history into a mountain? Welcome to Mount Rushmore, one of America's most iconic monuments. But do you know the incredible story behind it? Today we're exploring the history, the architectural genius and some surprising facts about this monumental landmark that will leave you amazed. Stay with us as we journey through time and stone, uncovering what makes Mount Rushmore not just a sculptural feat, but a cultural icon. Let's begin with the vision that brought Mount Rushmore to life. The idea was conceived in the 1920s by historian Doan Robinson, who wanted to promote tourism in South Dakota. He enlisted sculptor Gutzon Borglum, who saw the potential for a grander vision, a shrine of democracy featuring Presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Construction began in 1927 with Borglum and his team of over 400 workers carving into the granite of the Black Hills. Despite the challenges, including Borglum's sudden death in 1941, the project was completed under the supervision of his son, Lincoln Borglum. Architecturally, Mount Rushmore is a marvel. Carving a mountain required innovative techniques and incredible precision. The project utilized dynamite for 90% of the carving with detailed work done by hand using drills and chisels. The faces of the presidents are about 60 feet high and the entire monument covers over 1,200 acres. Borglum's mastery in capturing the likeness of these presidents in such a grand scale is a testament to his genius. Now let's dive into some lesser known facts about Mount Rushmore. Did you know that behind Abraham Lincoln's head is a hidden chamber? Borglum envisioned a hall of records to house important documents, but it was never completed. However, a titanium vault containing historical documents was placed there in 1998. Here's another surprising fact. The original plan included more than just the heads. It was supposed to depict the presidents from head to waist, but funding ran out. Also, the stone around Thomas Jefferson's face is noticeably lighter because his face was initially carved on the opposite side before the rock was deemed unsuitable. The personal stories of those who worked on Mount Rushmore add a human touch to this monumental project. Betty Brooks, whose grandfather, Thomas Jones, was a driller on the project, shares how her grandfather would recount the long days spent hanging from ropes, drilling precise holes for dynamite charges. Despite the danger, Jones and his colleagues took immense pride in their work, knowing they were part of something historic. Then there's John Smith, a local historian who tells the story of Luigi del Bianco, an Italian immigrant and chief carver who was instrumental in refining the intricate details of the president's faces. Del Bianco's expertise in stone carving was crucial, yet his contributions were largely unrecognized until decades later. Mount Rushmore wasn't just a monumental sculpture project, it was a hotbed of engineering innovation. Borglum and his team had to devise methods to precisely measure and carve the granite. They used a pointing machine, a tool that allowed them to transfer measurements from a scale model to the mountain. This technology was crucial in ensuring the proportions were accurate and the features recognizable from a distance. Another innovation was the use of pneumatic drills powered by a 3,700 foot pipeline running up the mountain, a remarkable feat of engineering in its own right. The economic impact of Mount Rushmore on South Dakota has been immense. By drawing over two million visitors annually, it has significantly boosted tourism and local businesses. The monument has transformed the Black Hills region into a bustling tourist destination, providing jobs and contributing to the local economy. Festivals, hotels and restaurants thrive thanks to the constant stream of tourists eager to see this national treasure. The nearby town of Keystone, once a mining town, has reinvented itself as a tourist hub offering a variety of attractions and services to visitors. Today, Mount Rushmore stands as a symbol of American history and pride. Visitors from around the world come to marvel at the craftsmanship and reflect on the legacy of the presidents depicted. The site offers a range of activities, including guided tours, educational programs and cultural events. 
The nightly lighting ceremony is a particularly moving experience, drawing crowds who come to pay tribute to the enduring symbol of democracy. For the adventurous, the presidential trail offers a closer view of the monument and a chance to explore the natural beauty of the Black Hills. Mount Rushmore is deeply woven into the cultural fabric of America. It has appeared in numerous films, most notably in Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest, where it provided a dramatic backdrop for the climactic chase scene. The monument is also a focal point for celebrations, such as Independence Day, and has been a site for political and cultural events. Its image is recognized globally, symbolizing the ideals of leadership and democracy. The monument also plays a role in local Native American history, as the Black Hills are considered sacred land to the Lakota Sioux adding layers of historical and cultural complexity. Maintaining such a colossal monument is an ongoing challenge. The National Park Service conducts regular inspections and maintenance to address issues caused by weathering and erosion. Recent efforts include laser scanning to create a detailed digital model for preservation planning. These measures ensure that Mount Rushmore will endure for future generations to appreciate. In addition, new technologies such as drones are being used to monitor the monument's condition and guide conservation efforts. Mount Rushmore stands as a monumental blend of art and engineering, a testament to human ingenuity and cultural significance. Its history, architectural prowess and the role it plays in connecting people make it more than just a monument. It's a symbol of American heritage. Thanks for joining us on this journey through one of the world's most iconic landmarks. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating stories about architectural wonders. See you next time.